Ooh. Yeah, some more of that scary Mary Mans Marilyn Manson uh absinthe. Man synth. Man, this shit is deadly. <laughs> mm. yeah. Let's see. Bit of lime juice. Kind of counteract that heavy licorice kind of Jägermeistery kind of taste. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Absinthe is just a little bit different than what I'm used to drinking. Seems like it doesn't muddy the mind as much. It makes you feel like you want to write a sonnet or maybe a piece of shit like this. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Book a, a book written on gold. All right. <clears throat> Chapter 20 of 1st Nephi is we're getting close to the finish line. Prophecies recorded on the plates of brass. Compare to Isaiah 48. Well, somehow, it's in the same narrative, and it's him responding to his brother's questions and all, and he starts to read from the brass plates, so apparently they had to end up on the gold plates, because here they are, in this narrative. And it's compared to Isaiah 48. So basically, they've lifted whole chapters of the book of Isaiah in 1st and 2nd Nephi. And there's like one little slight difference that I've noticed. Um, I, you know, I got the old concordance out again. <laughs> and I can't find the word baptism anywhere in, I, in Isaiah. Can't really find it in the Old Testament, really. Although I know Elijah, or maybe it was Elisha, made that leopard take a bath. That's sort of a baptism. <clears throat> Hearken and hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Israel. Well, see, he can write that way because he's writing on parchment originally. Uh, Isaiah. Uh, you know, you run long, you just sew on another piece of hide. And uh, the scroll just gets longer and longer, that's all. So they could talk like this. They could write like this. Who are called by the name of Israel. Yeah, Jacob was named Israel. It was his other name. Because he wrestled with that angel and saw that stairway to heaven, that ladder to heaven. Uh, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah or out of the waters of baptism. Now they added that little last line in. It's not in... My King James book of Isaiah. Maybe the evil church that they keep talking about, uh, maybe they took that one sentence out, you know, or out of, wait, or out of the waters of baptism. It wasn't said. And how is it a baptism if you're in a boat? You're not immersed, dickhead. <sighs> Who swear by the name of the Lord and make mention of the God of Israel, yet they swear not in truth, nor in righteousness. Nevertheless, they call themselves of the holy city, but they do not stay themselves upon the God of Israel. Who is the God of hosts? Yea, the Lord of hosts is his name. Behold, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did show them suddenly. It's funny how Isaiah just says I, and he just knows where... We know that's Isaiah talking. <laughs> it's not I, Isaiah, every other paragraph. 
<sighs> and I did it because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an, uh, is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. Now we can see where this whole book gets a lot of its language. You know, it's, it's awful handy of them to lift whole chapters of Isaiah to show us the similarities in, their, in the word choice. I know what they were trying to do. And I have, wait, and I have even from the beginning declared to thee before, before it came to pass, I showed the, them thee, and I showed them for fear lest they should say, Mine idol hath done it, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. I think that's the only thing that came to pass. Must be where they got the idea and then start overusing the phrase. Oh, kind of hard to get this down. It's like overwhelmingly sweet and blah, licorice -y. But mm, I do like what it does to does to my head, though. Oh, bear with me. Oh. oh. Oh, ah, that ain't scotch. All right. Before it came to pass, I showed them thee, and I showed them for fear, lest thou should say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image have commanded them. Yeah, I really believe statues do shit. You know, you got to watch those statues, you know. You know, they're not just for the pigeons to crap on, you know. <laughs> they do magic shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to be told that, you know, if something magical happened, I probably would be thinking it was a god of some kind. I'd just be wondering which one. <clears throat> Thou hast seen and heard all this, and will not declare them? And that I have showed thee, thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them? They are created now, and not from the beginning. Even before the day when thou heardest them not, they were declared unto thee, lest thou should say, Behold, I knew them. So we're not playing that game. Yea, and thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not, yea, from that time thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldst deal very treacherously, and wast called a transgressor from the womb. Damn. <laughs> he got born, and the doctor said, This is a bad baby. Transgressor. I know you haven't done anything yet, but... <laughs> it's going to get written down in this golden book. Actually, it's going to get written down on scrolls. And that was good enough for the Lord, it's good enough for me. Cold book. Nevertheless, ah, you got it from Isaiah. For my name's sake I will defer mine anger, and for my praise will I refrain from thee that I cut thee not off. For behold, I have refined thee, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. He likes the way they suffer. For mine own sake, yea, for mine own sake will I do this, for I will not suffer my name to be polluted, and I will not give my glory unto another. Hearken unto me, O Jacob. And Israel, my called, <coughs> Whew. drank that too fast, for I am he, uncapitalized. I am the first, and I am also the last. 
mine hand, hand hath also laid the foundation of the earth, and my right arm, my right hand, hath spanned the heavens. I call unto them, and they stand up together. That's how it happened. All ye assemble yourselves, and hear who among them hath declared these things unto them. The Lord hath loved him, yea, and he w will fulfill his word, which he hath declared by them, and he will do his pleasure on Babylon. Ooh. And his arm shall come upon the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans are the Babylonians. All right. It's poetic. He wants to let us know he knows that they're both the same thing. I got one up. It's Iraq. <laughs> also, saith the Lord, I, the Lord, yea, I have spoken, yea, I have called him to declare, I have brought him, and he shall make his way, and he shall make his way prosperous. Got itch. <sighs> Come ye near unto me, I have not spoken in secret. From the beginning, from the time that it was declared that I spoken, I, wait, declared have I spoken, and the Lord God and his Spirit hath sent me. And thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I have sent him, the Lord thy God, who teacheth thee to profit, who leadeth thee by the way, who shouldst go, hast done it. O oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandment. Then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed, ah, got that from Isaiah, also had been as the sand, the offspring of my bowels, like the gravel thereof. All right, that ain't a pretty image at all. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans. With a voice of singing declare ye, Tell this, utter to the end of the earth, say ye, The Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob, and they thirstest not. He led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. Ah, that repetition, they got that from him too. And notwithstanding, notwithstanding, he hath done all this, and greater also. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. End of chapter 20, which is really uh, Isaiah 48, with a just minor modifications. Why did that have to be in a gold book when it was in a brass book already? Just because he was reading it to his brothers. Well, better take that whole chapter or they won't get it. They keep underestimating their audience. We're not all Mormons. <clears throat> chapter 21. Isaiah's writings, as recorded upon the plates of brass, continued. Compared to Isaiah 49. Now we're ripping off another chapter of Isaiah. And it's pretty much the same, but what the fuck, I'll just read it anyway. And again, hearken, O ye house of Israel, all ye that are broken off and are driven out because of the wickedness of the pastors of my people, yea, all ye that are broken off, that are scattered abroad, who are of my people, O house of Israel, listen, O isles unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. <laughs> Get out <of> here! <laughs> from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. Think pretty highly of yourself there, Isaiah. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. Lucky you. I haven't had my shaft polished in a while. In his quiver hath he hid me, 
to fire him like an arrow, I guess, from his b b holy bow. <laughs> In his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain surely my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord, that formed me from the womb, that I should be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered yet, shall I be glorified in his in the eyes of the Lord my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldst be my servant, to rise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that they mayest be my salvation until the ends of the earth. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nations nation abhorreth, to servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes shall also worship, because of the Lord that is faithful. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, O isles of the sea, and in a, a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee and give thee my servant for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. You mean like the Great Salt Lake? <laughs> that thou mayest say to the prisoners, Go forth to them that sit in darkness, show yourselves, that they wait, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor the sun smite them. There's that smite. He's not going to use any words that aren't in Isaiah. <sighs> Too bad. <laughs> not much of a palate. <laughs> For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water. Springs of water. A river of water. Shall he guide them. And I will make all my mountains a way, and my highway shall be exalted. And then, O house of Israel, behold, these shall come from far and low, from wait, though these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. Hear, wait, sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth. For the feet of those who are in the east shall be established. <sighs> and break forth into singing, O mountains, for they shall be smitten no more. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. But behold, Zion hath said, The Lord hath forsaken me. And my Lord hath forgotten me, but he will show that he hath not. For can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee, O house of Israel? <laughs> Behold, I have graven thee upon the the palms of my hands. He wrote, it's like Sarah Palin. He wrote their names on his hand. <laughs> Just watch out for those bullseyes she likes to draw. Hope one doesn't fall on me. <sighs> yeah, graven thee upon the palms of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste against 
thy destroyers, and they that made thee, late made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thine eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together, and they shall come to thee. And as I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all. As with an ornament, and bind them as even a bride. For thy waste and thy desolate places, and the land of thy destruction, shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children whom thou shalt have after thou hast lost the first shall again in thine ears say, The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in thine heart, Who hath begotten thee, uh, got be, who hath begotten me these, seeing I have lost my children, and am desolate, a captive, and removing to and fro, to and fro, and who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. These who have they been? <sighs> Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles, and I will set mine standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and, their, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders, and the king shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers, and they shall bow down to thee, with their face towards the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Just have patience. <sighs> for they shall pray, for for they, for shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captives delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. And I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them. Wait, and I will feed them that oppress thee with thine own flesh. Ugh, this is disgusting. That they shall be drunken with thine own blood. Is that where all this eating flesh and drinking blood came from? This is some sick shit, people. They shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Just one more chapter to go. And let's uh, save it after last. I could just blast on through, but this is long enough. So anyway, two whole chapters of Isaiah ripped off, and then he does one closing chapter, and then we get into Second Nephi. And I'm really interested how the community's coming along, but instead I get more prayers and apocalyptic prophecies and not much else. But I'm going to stick with it because somebody's got to do this, right? So... May as well be me, even though this is hardly a scholarly approach. Anyway, peace, folks. <laughs>